Is that right? Can stop shooting this. Uh, yeah, we're doing, doing a... Uh, conduct the training here. Uh, uh, where, where is that? Killbone, do you have a mic? Yeah, Killbone. Uh, we're not doing an action match here. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, I know that. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, uh, I was wondering why I was trying to kill him. It's a little yeah, weird. I'm doing a little weird. I'm just going to go to the test because I heard a lot of explaining going on. Okay. You, you can hang yeah, out just, or uh, uh, hop into a wreck. Uh, we're going to do this just for almost an hour and then we'll do normal play. Uh, so we're just explaining how to play the rook. And Vandal oh, There's also no, a, uh, another, since the game another server game going. Off. Yeah, Vandal's uh, server is playing regular games right now. So, okay. uh, if awful. you guys can try try doing this type of thing, right? Where you're actually doing a couple of pushes back and uh, side to side. So you can go from one direction and then bounce back to the other direction. Actually, how much do you and guys... And then we're going to need like a... Uh, yep, go, go ahead. Question, uh, how much do you guys, like, coast when you're flying? I mean, are you holding the jets, like, all the time, or are you kind of coasting sometimes, too, like... I don't know. I coast as much as I can for fuel conservation, because the, the fuel tank is limited. It's if you're going up or down, down, usually. Yeah. Um, you know... Usually, so, I mean, I might, might jump with an upward thrust, and then I'll use my side thrust to propel Yeah, that's a good issue. It's a good plan. So... In terms of the flying, you definitely want to be managing your fuel. So, you know, the rook is the sitting duck without fuel, and you will get converged on, like, if you can't get out of the way. Uh, so, before you even come down, you want to be planning, like, okay, I spent half a tank, uh, now I should turn, start turning on my fuel pump or something like that. Um, but in terms of how much you coast, like, let's say we're flying to, to Fraggle Rock in the center, so. I'm, 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 awesome. I'm, I'm, pump, I'm pumping the fuel right now, right? So by the time I hit Fraggle, I, I release. And now I'm just coasting. This is all coast. And then I, I want to go in the reverse direction to kind of slow down. Yeah. So when you guys are ripping around at full speed, will you try to hit things to stop? Or will you save enough fuel to, to slow yourself down? Uh, depends what you want. <laughs> yeah, I it depends like, on how fast you're going, going and what's around. Yeah, when I engage, I, I was planning to leave alive, but if I know it's going to be a long way trip, I just try to ram at full speed. But I don't, I don't really try not to go for broke, because it's a really good, good way to die. Uh, so there's a couple of things to that. So one is that, um, so the rook legs do have a fair amount of spring in them, but the spring is kind of sideways. So like, if you hit like an angle sideways, you can bounce off of that. Uh, if you're going too fast when you do that, you can break that leg off. Um, so that, for example, okay, dude. If, if you're looking at this thing here, if I go... Uh, so if you, if you try, to, try to bump into that cliff over here and bounce off of it. Where are you? Did it take damage? Uh, no, there's no damage. The, I just bow springed off of the, the little clip. So I'm looking at this thing over here. If you see this laser, it's kind of like right there. Okay. So you want to just nudge the left leg right into the cliff and then pull the, the stick in the opposite direction as soon as you feel it like kind of connect. Thing. of changing direction. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Kirk. It even works on a vertical map wall, flying on you trail. guys do. And, like, when you're looking at the map, if that's what you are doing, are you using the different shades of the map to really help you guys get around? Or, like, I don't get it. Um, no, 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 uh, I'm looking at the radar, yes. I'm not looking at the contours and the radar. Uh, and I'm, I am spotting my landing. Uh, and, you know, I'm kind of going from there. Sorry. But to some extent, that depends on, on the map itself. Uh, so a couple of things to, to kind of also try. Uh, we, we need a, we need a, a Gold Rush volunteer to, uh, or maybe, maybe two or two or three of them. <laughs> to, to actually try it all day. Sure, 
and then everybody else is trying to dodge. Moment. We're gonna we get like three lines of like gold rush dodging. <laughs> I'm gonna try ramming. So Alex, is that spring back uh, coming from your legs or your arms? Uh, that's in general coming from the legs, but the arms will also bounce you off as well. So that broke me. So if if I'm going to up to this rock and I. Alright, gold rush on the fraggle. What are we doing? Where do you want us? So, yeah, so we want to get some ramming practice, so uh, some ramming avoidance. So the thing about the rook is the rook is the matrix machine, so basically um, anything coming at you, you can quickly go left or right. Okay. Where, where did our gold rush go? I broke the leg, so I two and three rushed. Usually, like, okay, he's so on the back of rock. So, okay, so yeah, so, so let's get, uh, so Van is coming at me, right? Now, uh, he's going for the ram, so I can go left or right, right? In this, in this case, I didn't have to move at all, because his path was a little bit... I up. wasn't going for you at first, I was going for somebody oh, okay. else, I changed when he started talking. Here, Alex, I go for Oh, no, this is... So, right there. But this is fine, actually, because they have different ranges, so Ben was in a good range for this, so... Uh, Hammer, you can, you can charge, and then I'll, I'll kind of try to... Well. Should I try my best to hit you, or should I miss intentionally? Yeah, 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 if I get hit... Just hit, hit him, dude! <laughs> Ram him! <laughs> Take him out! See, see, well, I just went that leg, but, but that was uh, it. Uh, that's still pretty. It was a direct hit. That would have definitely killed him. Okay, okay. The second one was. Okay, but just a second, just a second. So, uh, let me let me get a fresh mech again. So, uh, but the thing I want you to try and kind of try and do is when somebody's coming at you straight on. You, you, when somebody's coming at you straight on, yes, you can go left or right, but it can come to rotate. That little rotation is enough to kind of, you know, so he go so, so kind so of what, what happens worth, is... I totally was baiting the juke and was ready, and that took everything to even clip him. He turned and he uh, sidestepped at the same time. Yeah, let me get a fresh, uh, fresh mech. But if, if someone else wants to try and avoid the gold rush, give that a shot. So maybe everyone get a turn avoiding the gold rush. Probably a good ram spot is like, so they come from Fraggle, and then you're standing nice here, dodge. and you just avoid, avoid. That worked pretty good. Good. Not, I was, I wasn't giving you any uh, help. Oh shoot, I don't see that coming. Uh, okay, so where 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 are we? Are we uh, we're all around? No. Oh, on the topic of ramming, so if you don't have field of dodge, turn your shoulder into whatever's ramming you. Chances are you, you can uh, you'll survive the impact or take them out. Yeah. So let's kind of see. Uh, does anybody get a chance to try and dodge this? You have to kind of experience this, right? Like, right, like that, we need like a gold rush that. coming at you. So you always have a choice. Yeah. Uh, so, and you don't have to like spend a lot of fuel to do that. Um, and I could have leg came off. Like I could easily have gone the other direction as well. So you always have two choices in a row. Which and oh, the ramp can come from. Yeah, the ramp can come from any angle. So you want to give that kind of a shot. But when you dodge. Dodge and, and rotate at the same time, so that's kind of almost a little, little count. Alright, I definitely need to practice this so I pop back into a rook. Yeah, but we might... What you're saying... And by 90 degrees, and basically you're making yourself skinnier, and exactly. kind of pulling out yep. into the side. Matador okay. style, yeah. Dredge yeah. and Catalyst yep. can yeah. do this, but rook's the best. Yeah, no so that, the, you can also the dodge and spin was really, really good. Ramp. Yeah, uh, Gunko, I, I don't know if you want to show the, uh, like, a, how do you block a ramp? Um, oh, yeah, sure. Um, I don't want a ramp move. Just let me know where it comes from. Yeah, that's why I wasn't prepared for it. 
That's funny. Who the hell is that? Ow. There's a little no leg and arm. <laughs> so, what we're kind of talking about is like if a gold rush or something is ramming into your hopper or anything like that, and you rotate this beefy shoulder, you can block most rams. Kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. So, I think anyone wants to give it a shot. Like, uh, who's, someone, okay, someone's coming in for the ram. This seems pretty nice. See, so I survived that pretty well. My arm went good. Yeah, you see, I, I, I lost half the, I lost half the mech body, but, like, I'm yeah, still blue. That. I'm totally blue. Uh, yeah, that time my shoulder observed that whole ram. If I were facing Ace right here, I'd, I'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... That's kind of a trick you want to kind of practice that one, but uh, for now, the, 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 one of the easiest things is just trying to avoid that. All right, so I'm still in the hangar, so let me uh, just respond. So, 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 dodging, you know, this is the number one mech for that kind of uh, dodge mechanic. But you want to be able to, uh, when, you're in, when you're in the work, uh, there's a couple of things related to that. Like if you're flying as well, you can rotate in the air and change direction at any point in time. So you always have these two directions that you can always be uh, manipulating. Uh, so, for example, um, like, speaking of flying, uh, I did want to add to, uh, Hey, Alex, you're session. breaking up, by the way. Oh, shoot, okay. Alright. I had to add on how to Wait, can everyone hear me? Yeah, basically. Hear you, okay. Um, uh, yeah, go ahead, Gungo, go, go ahead. Go ahead. So, my, the way that's why I don't particularly stay sideways the whole time. Yeah. But uh, instead, I, I want to fly the intended direction with that direction in view. So sometimes I'll be pointed like maybe 45 or 50 uh, degrees, you know, left or right. And if I know I'm, I'm flying in the right direction, then I'll turn my left or right shoulder and then start using the side jets. But I don't want to fly blind. That's kinda... probably the worst thing you can do. I kind of want to add to that. So one thing about the rook flying is, so just like if you just try to try fly straight forward, you will only go slowly. The, the closer you come to a full 180 degree or full on strafing, the faster you go. So uh, it also means the more blind you are. So um, uh, if you're trying to ram someone, you, you really turn that shoulder and, and gun it in that direction. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to make sure it's your shoulder or at least your armor like contacting your enemies first, otherwise you may have problems. So, let's try uh, a couple of uh, piloting tasks. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That was a nice, that was a nice ram. So you see that... I uh, I hit him with my shoulder exactly because I blew can up you, too. Can you fly through that thing there? Just try and guide your rook from this spot here right through that thing. Just I noticed something very strange. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure that, uh, yeah, yeah sure. Then we'll um, just I'm keep trying to fly through there while we're asking the question. No, I'm done hey, So Alex, you would, you would walk just towards it? Something. Like, I'm right behind you to your left. So you would walk towards it and then you jump up and then turn and then kind of angle towards it? Okay. Uh, so you have two options. So you you can jump straight forward. Uh, quite often you might just go for the full turn. Uh, if the closer you are to 180 degrees uh, or sideways, the faster you you take off. So if you take off forward, you're gonna have to spin sideways midair. You both both ways work. Uh, try to see if you can go through that as fast as possible. So like go full sideways and just go right through it. And as I take off, I turn on my fast field. I mean, if you start to move by the shoulder, even if you turn a little bit less than 90 degrees, you can still carry a good amount of speed and maintain a 
the tour to be a way you want to go. Uh, by the way, if you have air brake, once you come through there, just, you just smash your brake. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea the rook's legs were this uh, fragile going sideways. That's news to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you land forward, uh, you're, you're usually fine, but if you land sideways... Uh, uh, the good news there is that one leg rooks fly really, 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 really... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna ask, um, when you're flying sideways, I sit in a couch, so I, I just kind of naturally am usually sitting back in my gold rush or what have you not, but if you lean forward quite a bit while you're still piloting, like, you can see a little more, can't you? Yep, yep, so one of the things that tends to happen is, uh, I'm usually, like, because when we have these blinders as well, so you're usually trying to angle for vision uh, in addition to uh, positioning. So there's, there's a lot of movement in this, uh, in, this in this game. Uh, if, if you have like, so if, you, if you're just doing normal piloting, you could be just trying to look out that left window. I tend to aim for that, aim for that bar, like all the way to the left, and I'm I'm, I'm lining that up with whatever. That's my sight, right? So basically, whatever aligns with that left or right bar is the thing that I'm going to hit. Wait, let me get back in one. Say that again. Uh, so when I'm trying to like ram in a rook, for example, I'm looking at the uh, if you just if you let me just park. Uh, like the edge of the glass. Yeah, the, the edge of the glass right there. Like if you turn your head all the way to the left that left glass is your target. Uh, same thing with the right. That, that's, your, that's your target. Um, so and if you, you can kind of use like the four seam intersections there in the cockpit to aim for your target. Yeah, that's right. And so you'll see the spot where the um, where the blinders meet the uh, glass. Oh, that's freaking cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good angle spot. You need to try it actually. If you look, I always look for like things to fly between. So, um, like if you find a like oh, like yeah. this Probably. nice little tight corridor here. <laughs> so like this is a good one, right? And when you fly between these things, you want to like fly at high speed and get a nice running start. You just go right. Wow, somebody just joined the game, we're doing training, um, and you oh, just felt right. the power. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so we're in the overhaul, uh, we're doing a, you know, uh, we're doing a community uh, event, and so basically it's just work training, so we're gonna do normal play in about an hour, so pop into a work and join us. Uh, so yeah, okay, so other cool stuff, uh, ramming, I think you should try and hit someone, um, we could go after the overhaul, but that one might not be nice, um, do it. so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, this is good, might so be chase true. the overhaul, chase the overhaul, see who can ram the overhaul with your shoulder, uh, you get points for just raising it too, okay, that's really high up, uh, being high up is a good thing. Uh, if you should you should be practicing trying to catch stuff as well. So if you're trying to go up, you want to figure out this, uh, this bounce step. Oh shoot, we're at 30 points already. Oh, that was that really nice. <laughs> So I'm gonna switch from serpent planes because I also want you to get a flavor for how the rook feels on some different, uh, different terrain. So um, one of my favorites is uh, Ascidium. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know where everyone else spawned. Uh, we spawned in the south, south, southwest. So let's 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 meet up. Uh, 
It's kind of fun that, uh, actually, yeah, everyone show up to this, uh, this spot over here. You'll see a giant laser. This is the look off. Uh, as we're flying over here, you want to be flying sideways, so get some fast flying over here. Uh, keep your air brake if you have it, so you can stop. Um, just pump the air brake once, and you should be safe. That was pretty good, man. So basically, like, let's say you're playing salvage, right? Um, you know, salvage always spawns over there. You know, all over there. You know, for example. You're, you're doing, and quite often you might just spawn up here, right? Which is great, so you have to like fly, or, you know, let's say you need to fly and get around that rock over there. You know, how, how do you do that, right? Or if you need to fly and get around that rock over there, you know. Yeah, let's follow Alan over here. So, just give, give that a whirl, like, just fly down there and try to hook around that rock. Hook around the rock. Give it a whirl. So when I say hook around the rock, I mean rotate the mech as you're flying and then side strafe in the... Okay. You can drift. Yeah, you can. It's better at a higher altitude, oh, especially oh, if you're trying to target oh. someone for a land. Uh, you, you might want to have an air first. So. Oh, air brake. Oh, it's good. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, so uh, you should probably have a couple different builds. So if so that you have an air brake build, a fast build where you just ram air cooling. Uh, yeah, right. Little jaggies and stuff like that. You can bounce off of that too. And inversely, if you're taking a step and it is on its way down, you're going to end up spinning more fuel trying to get upward momentum because you're trying to cancel out the downward motion. So yep, you want to you know, bounce and rebound. Back. Yeah, I see yeah. it. Same thing with the whole proper bounty rebound thing. Same kind yeah, of thing. I see it. That's a Damn, thing. that's... That's tricky. It's yeah, even more key than Yeah, it's, it's tricky to do while you're in the middle of a dog fight. I mean, it's just a little tricky when you're just focusing on when you're doing that. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'll Yeah, no, I can only really see what you guys are saying. I just... <laughs> I don't know if I can do it, but yeah, I see you guys, like, I did the video, I totally see what you're saying, so... So, one thing with that, that same, uh, thing that Gung was talking about is, like, uh, with the, with the work in, in general with any mech, you don't want to waste your air time. If you're up in the air, you want to be maneuvering. Like, if you land and you bounce even a little bit, keep going. This mech is about going with it. So, let's try flying over there. Hopefully we don't break our legs. Uh, just, uh, just follow me. I'll try and bounce off some stuff, and you also try to do it. But, so try to get that bounce step. Yeah. And I want to add on that. that. If you're flying in one direction, don't change your mind and change directions. You're going to be burning a lot of fuel. So, so if you see what I did there, I just like bounced onto that little mushroom, and then I kind of stopped here. Um, sometimes you need to do that, um, to stop, or to, to you know, oh. oh, you pointed your laser over here, so I was sending it where you pointed your laser. There. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, uh, it, I'm getting some good flight practice. This is a pretty good spot. This one. If you want to be super advanced, you, you try to leap off of that thing and fly through that cave over there. Okay. But, uh, it, it's kind of <laughs> for, for tricks mostly. Um, one of the other things that's interesting is, um, let's see, so let's say you wanted to just side straight back and forth across this path. Definitely can't hear you. Oh, uh, side straightening back and forth across this path. Um, so, like, let's see, if, like, try, try that, right? Like, just try and do that, like. It's almost like drills in basketball or something. Once the mech lands, you just let it land and shooting? then just bounce back. Hmm. Oh, is someone uh, still still shooting? Oops. Um, we, we, could, we could pick him if, if necessary. Yeah. 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 
Bouncing back and forth across this uh, weird chasm. But how much fuel? Like, what's fuel stock, and how do you manage your fuel for that? Is there is there fuel management in this? Uh, like, uh, in yeah, this maneuver, uh, Rick, in this Rick, maneuver, Rick is Rick is all about fuel management. So, for example, with this maneuver, you just want to get up the speed and just let it coast. Like right now, I, I'm, I, my hand is off the fuel throttle, so it's kind of coasting. But before, I, I'm nudging the fuel slightly to make it move across. So you can just nudge the fuel a little bit left or right, depending on where you get here. Okay. So, so I mean, so you off the so spot, 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 spot your direction a little bit, and just you just spot where you're headed, and start moving, and then release. Like if you see you're gonna fall into the gap, and just and push more fuel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So more m more coasting than doing too much too much thrust. I think. Yeah, you want to coast as much as possible if you want to get best mileage per gas tank. Yeah, so so that's kind of a uh, interesting. So so let's see so. These are some 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 sort of basic flight mechanic exercises. Like you can see, I'm just bouncing back and forth across here. And as soon as my mech hits the side, I'm going to reuse the momentum that I get from uh, the landing in order to go back to the next side. Um, this makes you hard to catch. Uh, so now while you're doing this, we we didn't talk about weapons, but while you're doing this, you want to be like rotating around and shooting the enemy. You're gonna be blasting stuff. I think that just flying one of these bad boys is the hardest thing. So it's lots of good stuff oh, here. The aiming is weird too. They're just essentially located weapons. Uh, yeah, let's talk about weapons for a little bit. Uh, Gung, I don't know if you have a, a anything you want to add there. I have a couple of things. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this was covered, but since we're using larger weapons, uh, generally you'll run into a longer reload time and more heat generation. So with the rook, yeah, you get big damage, big heat, but you also want to make every shot count. Especially if you're getting a bad fight with cannons, you got to land every shot. Because if you're going against something like a gold rush and he's landing every one of the shots, you can, you know, you, you can easily lose that battle. Yeah, so, um, you know, weapons are kind of a, uh, you know, it's kind of a personal thing, depends on what you, what you want. I've got loadouts for all the different choices, but... Um, so let's start with cannons then. So, cannons uh, in, in general. So, what I tend to do is, I have, I have uh, with my work piloting stuff, so... You know, we've got the radar on the left, and we've got the, uh, the flight stick on the left, and we've got the controls on the right. So I tend to have my uh, left and right um, buttons available for weapon loadout only. And my right uh, hand is, tends to be pretty free, only for using fast fuel. So that's kind of my loadout. Um, so left trigger is always like left hand, and there's a flat button right next to it on Oculus. That's always right hand. Yeah, I shoot things the same way. Wow, we're kind of yeah. unusual. So I just go left, 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 left. Right. Well, the thing with the rook is you only have two weapons, right? So basically, you're going to be going left, right, or you're going both, right? So you're going left, right, or both. Um, so if I'm going with scatter shot, I'm doing the one-two punch, the one-two punch, maybe double punch. If I'm going with uh, rails. You want to have a couple different rail builds, so, you know, one where you're just firing two at once, one where you're firing one at a time, the uh, heat management. That's usually pretty good. Um, and... I don't know if any of you have a, a dual large laser loadout, but do a whole volley of that. See how many shots you can do before overheating. It's, for me, I think the max is three yeah. whole shots, so six shots total. Will overheat you and force you into a shutdown. Yeah, so I'm watching this person do a lot of uh, rails. 
Uh, so with the large laser, yeah, so you want to yeah, you want to see what it feels like to do one laser at a time, and then do it both. So there's two lasers at once, like, you're, like two lasers at once, you're like a quarter tank already, right? So, but if you're just tapping, like you're tapping, you know, um, you're just tapping, you can kind of make this work, but you have to be very careful with how far you go with it. Definitely. Uh, I recommend if you're starting a loadout with the Rook, you probably want to go with rails, just to make the most impact. Um, I don't know, did, does anyone have any like specific questions, like things that we didn't kind of start to talk about? Can you run backup generator and power off? Uh, yeah, that's that one, of the, one of the one cool modules. So that's uh, we call it the shutdown build. So uh, basically, uh, you run backup generator and you, uh, the uh, uh, the fuel pump mod. So you can basically shut down and fire. But when you do that, you kind of want to be able to figure out a way where you can shut down and still fly. So you want to fly, shut down fire through the scope, you know, while you're flying. And then you want to wake up again before you hit the ground, and then fly again, and continually kind of do uh, those kind of stuff. Oh, you guys still doing rook, rook practice? Yeah, we are. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, no, that's fine. Uh, like join, join us. What's the armor like on the rook? So, you're at your best when you're showing the shoulder to your enemy. Uh, your cockpit really? can be yeah, pretty vulnerable. Yeah, yeah so if you show the shoulder... So, actually, during the dive, okay, what you often see me do, um, like in between shots after I shoot, like the only time I shoot my cockpit is more exposed, but if I'm reloading my next shot, I'm purposely turning my shoulder into the enemy, so... I don't think left for the one of your shooters, you know, my side profile or my back. Sometimes I'll just show my back just because I have fresh armor for fit. But as with any grinder, you want to expose your least damage part so you can put those armor plates to work. Yeah, and kind of along those lines, the, this mech has the most buff uh, arms in the game. So this is the, uh, you know, so basically, like, if, if you're even trying to get the arms shot off, they'll end up just shooting the, some of the plates off. Like, it's very rare to have a left arm fall off unless you're really crashing into something or something's crashing into you. So, oh, you're fighting Lady Polly. Oh, Lady Polly still can't take a left, a left arm off. Like, uh, uh, I mean, she'd have to dedicate like five, it six shots. It takes a lot of Yeah. Yeah, it's quite so, I've tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've tried. <laughs> you, yeah. you, you better uh, understand for the It's hard on a human, but I, I often tell yeah. you I play by myself. I'll take the rook's arms off of the of my rooks on my team so they don't steal all my kills. If you get them yeah. in the joint, facing them or That's behind funny. them. Yeah, it is. It is kind of one of the. It's it's one of your your, your weapons, right? Because uh, I don't know if if they planned that and in, in with the devs planned it, but that's how we use it. The arms have a lot of you know stuff there, and. Uh, you, you use it to ram into people. I say show show the arm to them. They don't usually see it coming, and then you dash at them, which mm -hmm. is kind of the way to kind of you know. Usually, you find a gold rush will like face you. Uh, yeah, and, then, and I got yeah, somebody's arms off. I got both of them off. Yeah, that's now what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm, I'm oh, you. Well, yeah, at, at this point in time, you, you just want to try and ram into stuff. But this is where you're at your fastest. So, no arms. Yeah, uh, no arms is still a dangerous rook. There's a video on the media trying to attack. Yeah, but you were out driving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, again, like, so, if, when, whenever you're, you're practicing this, right, you, you, you want to be, like, you definitely, this is a maneuverable neck. You don't want to be like static. Unless of course you're running like a sniper shutdown build or something like that. Like, you know, you, you want to be uh, playing with aggressive and being in, in the fight.
like see right now I'm kind of tussling without knowing for any arms. Um, so let's see, other kinds of things for, uh, from the loadout perspective. Um, yeah, I think I think basically. Wait, how are we on time? Are we? Okay. It's nine fifty. Yeah, we've got 10 minutes. Alright, so let's do an off-rook uh, salvage uh, on this map. So, because with salvage you gotta get to places quickly, that's gonna help with your flying, and uh, um, you gotta fight it out. So you want like close range battle tactics. Question. Um, uh, I recommend. Yep. Keep yep. blowing up when I ram people. Am I like not turning my shoulder enough into them or something? Am I like hitting them? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you, you, you up, they're they're actually hitting your cockpit. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you don't want to be hitting stuff with your. So cockpit. when you That's actually ram, out. yeah, thanks. When you actually ram them, do you sort of see yourself when you hit them, or are they pretty much on your blind side because you're turned so much? Does that make sense? Yeah. The uh, one thing you can just try is like over rotate before you get into the conflict. Like really put the shoulder in. Um, that tends to be um, like what you need to do. Okay. Uh, um, there is kind of a sharp spot that's on the edge of the uh, of the of the shoulder where you can do a lot of damage, but it's a pretty precise type of thing. But even if you're just like just blasting them, you're, you're still fine. Uh, another thing I didn't I didn't like try to get people to do, but you should try it if you can, and it's just a straight up hover. Like, like, like if you're just, you're just doing like, if you're in a drill, you tend to do this kind of hover all the time, where you're just feathering. So this is worth at least having in your flight mechanic toolbox. Because I can stay up here for quite a bit of time, just like this. And then if I turn faster, you'll want to stay even more. Now, what this becomes useful for is like if you're uh, if you're like shooting rails or something like that. Yeah, the rook arms wobble if you're moving. So you if you're in the in the air and you fire, you get a much straighter shot. Yeah, I was actually going to touch touch on that. Um, fire while running, it's, you get a lot of instability. So if you're feathering and you know, some of the, the height advantage of being on your opponent, um, you would still line a much better shot. But I, I like to do it with the opponent a lot. Oh, can, can you say that again, uh, Gung? I, I kind of didn't catch. I don't know if anyone else did. Did you guys catch that? You can say it again. I did. Well, I just had a, a, to add on that. Well, not really, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, hovering above an enemy, it's much better than to shoot while hovering than shoot them while walking, just because your shots are a lot more stable. I tend to do that a lot with a, a dual cannon build, just because, you know, you want to land every shot on that. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a really good point. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if, if you're shooting rail or anything like that, you want to remember those arms are going to wobble, so just jump and shoot if you have to do it. Uh, sometimes you don't have to do it. Um, but uh, this this mech is just airborne most of the time, so um, it might look like it's the uh, ground walking heavy infantry type of thing, but it's it's, it's kind of all about moving. Um, so that's kind of uh, kind of another thing. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's do that salvage. Do it. This will probably be our, That's right. probably be our main thing. But yeah, it's, it's going to be... Alright, 10-4. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll do 15, 15 points of solid. Oh, right, I have to exit this one. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, I was just trying to fish out how to stop it. Oops. Yeah, so if, if you're piloting this mech, you get some really, really nice close shave moments. You've got gold rushes coming after you, you're dodging out of the way, and while you're dodging, you're spinning, and then you're going to shoot them as they go by and shoot them in the butt. It's just great. Shoot them in the butt. Is 
Is it better for a dual loadout or just one in each or just total preference? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's preference, but I'm just curious. Uh, that's that's kind of a good one. Um, I tend to run a lot of loadouts that are like this weird ambidextrous loadout that has both things. That's just because I get to max double the damage on whatever I select. I but um, for utility, you might go laser rail, or you might go rail scattershot. I've tried all sorts of different combinations of this, uh, and I still kind of come back to the I need twice the rail power, or I need twice the scattershot power, or I need you know twice the laser power. It's, it's kind of you one of those down. things. Yeah, but it but I wouldn't like say it's the best or or not because uh, I've had good games on um, different loadouts. Uh, Duck, it looks like you're trying to say something. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I have a Duck saying let's let uh, yeah go ahead for. As a heat management build, have you tried like cannon and rail? Because cannons don't generate a lot of heat, do they? Yeah, cannons don't generate a lot of heat, and rails by themselves are, are okay. Um, we have ways to manage the heat. I'm just going to launch this just to kind of, uh, while we... Yeah, so, oh cool, so yeah, we spawn on the drop-off point. Uh, if you're up on this drop-off point, you want to you see if you can, like, make this landing. I hope you have your air brakes. Um, so yeah, so with the heat management, Oh, if you don't have your air brakes, uh, just try to, uh, you know, counter, you counter fuel pump. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, here, so with the heat management, we kind of want to, um, uh, if you have the ram air cooling, then you know you're going to be moving around a lot. By all means, as you're flying around, you're cooling down, so that's kind of a really good thing to do. If you were doing that jump and you, you had your uh, uh, air brake, you'll know you were able to come back. Anyone want to try round Decker? Someone try round the Decker. Round the Decker. Uh, I would do it, but I've already done it. No, you gotta ram into it. Try oh. it. And uh, we, we've got someone coming in. We've got dudes coming in. No. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, you gotta spot that thing to line it up. You just line it up really good. So can you see your target when you hit it? Or are you completely uh line it up? Uh you can feel it, but can see it with vibrate. No, I mean can you see it? Uh it, yeah, so keep it on for your blind spot in your blind so spot. So one thing there is um so in further on we we kinda of talk about this. Just spot all the way to the left where the uh where the, we see the lines from the edge of the, we see the edge of the, the cockpit, that's your target. Like, anything you line up with that, you're gonna run into it. So, like, you just run it up that way you. and line it up, yep. And lean forward too a little bit if you want to get a little bit of that extra vantage. Yeah. Yeah. And that's true, but before impact, you want to be facing, um, yeah. So the Rams, you want to practice that, but uh, you know it's fun when you do it, but it, 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 it takes a lot of day, right? Yeah, it's a lot of risk taking that for sure. I mean, it's a bit of a right practice. I mean, the good news about it, you lose an arm that you had once. Yeah, you move an arm, you've probably done a pretty good amount of damage too to the other receiving end. You, you got any scattershot oh, tips? Uh, hmm. uh okay, mm. the thing with scattershots, yeah, I do actually. So, scattershots, you want, you're gonna build up heat, so you wanna go left, right, and then uh, you have two double scattershots. So, you don't always wanna fire them both, you wanna alternate like a boxer. The other thing about scatter shots is basically um, uh, you want to wait for them to fully recharge. Like you need to hear it click. If you don't hear the audible uh, um, thing that that it recharged, you're, you're firing like blanks. Yeah. 
Really? Oh yeah, yeah you can see him reloading. Yeah. On like the indicator. Then you have to wait for it to fully reload, like full on audible effect as well. That's a fairly recent discovery, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that is kind of one of the things. Cause, um, sometimes we, you know, we just fire other scatter shots and you're holding down the button. We think you're doing damage. You're doing damage, but you're not doing as much. Is it like the missiles where it reloads and it just reloads to whatever it has? Uh, no, no, the, 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 the devs might... Um, before you shoot again. Yeah, the devs might debunk that, but, like, that's kind of how I think they work. Uh, that was in the north. Uh, you'll, you'll notice an, another thing with your rope piloting. This is kind of, um, the radar is on your left, so you'll find that you tend to fly left, and left wing a lot more. And that's just so you can see where Restarting systems. Still heat overloading. Alright, guess we're gonna just to try to do the salvage faster. I've just been talking the whole time. There we go. I map my uh, up jets to my middle thumbstick on uh, on the left hand, so when I press down, I go straight up, which has always been a bit of a problem with me with the rook, using all that fuel to go oh, straight up, right? Yeah. That's, that's a good move, yeah. that's a good way over, yeah, sometimes using the, the control in the cockpit, it's difficult to go straight up, so I have my upper jump jet map to uh, left thumb here in a second. So the other thing you should try doing when you're trying to get to the salvage, you want to try to um, you want to try to figure out how to change direction as much as you can while in the air. So that means like if you're going forward and the salvage is over to the left, you want to rotate a little bit and then go into new direction. Oh. Yeah, let's like, you can go around that change in direction on flight. I mean, the first thing that you want to Keep in mind is how fast you're going, because the faster you go, the less maneuverable you'll be, kind of like a car. And uh, to steer left and right, let's say you're flying with your left shoulder leading, you could maintain your heading, like your, your torso's direction, and do the jump just forward or back in order to uh, steer left or right. Hmm. Or alternatively, you could turn your torso, your whole torso to face the direction you're going and use the left and right jump jets for even more uh, better maneuverability. But, the downside to that is if you need to, for something heavy, if you need to slow down, it's going to take a little while. So you, when you hold them back, jump it, uh, you'll be stopping Yeah. Um, with the third and back jump set, so they, they're, there is a use for them, like, they, they, but, but you don't want to use them as your momentum. They're for slight shifts. You can think of them yeah, as I, the left and right on a gold rush. Yeah, um, I, I generally use it for like fine changes in direction when I'm flying sideways. So I recommend uh, if you when you when you play against the normal uh, normal game mode, try and get yourself into situations in the rook where you're like people are always trying to attack you and you're just dodging. You know, you can really get a good practice with the material. If people are shooting at you, you, you can get out of the way, you know, quite, quite good. Provided you have fuel, and if you don't have fuel, you can always turn the shoulder. And stuff like that. So, can somebody explain why you'd want to map straight up again? Fuel conservation and efficiency. Yeah, you, you, you are still trying to go up instead of the um, yeah, idea is you want to get to the correct altitude to like initiate your lateral move as quickly as possible. Uh, you want to be airborne. Um, 
you can manipulate the the rook a lot. As long as you're L1, you can you can you know do pretty much everything. Um, I don't have it mapped it's like that. That's kind of the first time I've heard that, so that's one to kind of try out. Um, oh, salvage. But um, you know, so there's a lot of like interesting stuff like that. One thing that's kind of um, I, I still kind of recommend, or at least I do it, is is the top secret. You know, just have a button for shutdown uh, because you're gonna get skyjacked a lot in your rook and you need to shut down and shut back on. Kinda recommend that. Of course that breaks the immersion. You can reach down and try and turn the key and shut down. Um, they both work, or you can set it to button if you want to be doing it faster. Your team was victorious. Don't yeah, or you can use the this coolant plug. In, in the earlier yeah. training yeah. tips, but is it better better to land with your feet facing forward or sideways? Forward. Uh, forward yeah, it is better to land, land facing forward. Uh, I wouldn't recommend backwards unless you have air brakes. You have, it, you have air brakes, or if you're going backwards and you rotate and then you pull on the, on the stick, um, that will slow you down and you can land backwards that way. Um, but, but yeah, so um, definitely not sideways. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. All right, so, uh, so it's been about an hour. Uh, I don't know if there's any other last Rook questions. I don't know which mech we'll do next week, but if there are other questions, uh, feel free right now. That was excellent, and I caught most of it. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, put it to practice. Uh, uh, I think with the free play right now, we've got a lot of good players. Try and dodge their rams. Um, and basically, it's all about positioning. So if you're, if you're thinking, all oh, these bars are in my way too much, you, you have to like counter it with better flying. So anyway, uh, thanks, way. folks. That was good. <laughs> Yeah, I missed Thanks, the, Alex. I recorded most of it. Uh, if you're new, join minutes. the Discord. Oh, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, oh, yeah, so if you're new uh, and you can drop off, join the Vox Machina Discord, discord.com slash Vox Machina, and we always play 9 to midnight Eastern time, uh, usually, and, and maybe on the weekends with, like, the Euro time. But anyway, all right, let's do normal stuff. I only got to catch the last, like, five minutes of it, but that was awesome. Like there seriously, awesome. right on. Yeah, it was it was kind of cool. A lot of folks were. Uh, so uh, yeah, go on ice cream. It was a pretty good turn. I recorded the whole thing, so I'll, I'll post it up as soon as it's uploaded. Nah. I'll watch. I just yeah. jumped over to the other server and let them know we're.